Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this uh, new video of Azure Digital Twin. So in the previous video, we used the Azure Digital Twin Explorer, we evaluated, we were able to uh, upload some models, so to make model management and instantiate the models. So if you haven't watched this, this video, um, it could be a, a prerequisite because what, what we're going to do here is just to uh, create new models, add new models, add new instances and relationship, but instead of using the ADT Explorer, uh, I would like to show you how to do it with Postman. So first prerequisite is you already have an um, ADT service instance up and running, and the second prerequisite, and you want to make sure you define or register a new application in the Azure Active Directory. So go to the app registrations here, recreate this app registration. So in this case, uh, you need to copy the, the client ID and the tenant ID. Uh, I create a client secret. So I, I would like to authenticate Postman directly uh, to the Azure Digital Twin uh, API. And also, please verify uh, that you also granted the or, in, or add a role in the Azure Digital Twin instance to this uh, register app. So you go navigate to your Azure Digital Twin instance, go to access and control, or access control, role assignments. Um, please verify your register app is listed here. So here we go, we have ADT Management API Let's assign the role as your digital twin owner. So once you have that, you can go back to Postman. So let's start to, to list the current models we have available. So I create this Postman collection. I please find the link to this collection also in, in the related post and in the video description. So first we can just uh, list the models that we have. So if we visualize the, the models in the Explorer, we should have these three, four, these four models already available. So, well, first, first of all, we need to request a token and um, in order to parameterize also, all of these uh, re require information. I, I've created um, an environment here. So you need to create a similar environment uh, to store the tenant ID. The access token will be populated. Uh, we'll show you how it's, pop well, it's populated, like you can see here. So using the, the test tab, I wrote the simple code to populate the variable access token with the response from the server. Um, please also configure the ADT instance URL, the client ID, and the client secret, and scope as shown here of course, with uh, your own values. Well, the scope is the same for everyone, but the client ID, client secret, ADT instance URL, and tenant ID is a specific to your tenant. Uh, that's it, just uh, let's get a new token. Verify you have a status 200 here, and then let's use this token to get, or to list the twin models that we already have. So let's, this is from a previous execution. So but let's, let's execute it again. And that's it. So as you can see, we have the thin, the agri parcel, the agri soil, and the agri product type. And this is exactly what we can find here in the ADT Explorer. So to demonstrate how to create a new model, let's go to upload model. And here, you need to go to the body, and in the body, you can send an array of models. So I already designed an agri parcel record. You can also find this model in the Git repository I provided. So let's copy, paste it here.
and let's try to add this every parcel record. Status 201 created. Sounds good. Now we're going to list the models again. So we have only four models and now we should have five. One, two, three, four, five. Great, so it works. Here we have our new interface or, or twin model we defined. And the next step would be to add some instance of, of the model. So if you go to the ADT Explorer and run a query, we should have the instances we created in the previous demo. And what I would like to do is just create a new instance also using Postman. Uh, by the way, um, there's a Swagger file. I also provided the link in the video uh, comments or video description and in, in the blog post. And then here you can find so this method to manage the models, and manage the twins instances, to query them, and to create some even routes. So if we want to create an instance of the twin, um, let's use this pot, digital twin, this one, digital twin and ID. So hold on a second. Create instance. We have pot. Our path here, like here, digital twins, and now the twin ID. So I don't like this ID, it's confusing. So I already created here. So let's create an agri parcel record one, and this would be the ID. And we also need to put this information in the body. So we have an agri parcel record one of type uh, agri parcel record. This is the, the twin model. And just populate the attribute description. OK. Let's see. Fire. Status 200, let's verify it here in the Edit Explorer. Uh, here we go. Here I can see my agri parcel record one. Um, let's say we want to assign this agri parcel record one to a parcel. So if you look at the model definition, we have the property description. Uh, inherits also from from thin, so we have uh, the name and created attributes already available, and then I defined three telemetry. So the soil temperature, soil moisture, EC, and the air temperature, and but I also defined the relationship as agri parcel. Uh, that means. So an agri parcel record belongs to or has agri parcel of type agri parcel. So if we create the relationship, we will take the name of the relationship here. We need to give the relationship an ID. So let's use something easy. Um, relationship ID one two three four five. Um, source ID. Is the ID of the agri parcel record. So we should use this one and the relationship name is the one from the model. And the target ID should be according to the model and agri parcel. And then we are going to look for my agri parcel and the ID. Okay, sorry. Um, the problem is I also need to modify here the, this path. So let's review the Swagger editor. So we are actually creating a new relationship and according to the swagger file uh, we need to use the id of the uh, yes id of the source relationship 
relationship ID. So if I go back to Postman, I need to replace that with the source ID. And I have to put here also the relationship ID. Okay, now we should have it sent. Oh, great. This time is already created. So let's go back again. Well, first we can actually retrieve here also the, the relationships. So get relationship for that. So we need to replace here. Let me watch again here, get digital twins ID, relationship, relationship ID. So basically it's the same information we put here in the put relationships. But of course, instead, instead of the put, we're going to use the get. So let's send it. Uh, okay, and here we can see the relationship was created. We can also verify it here in the Edit Explorer. If we run the query again, I expect to have the relationship from our parcel record to my parcel. So let's run the query. I don't know why it's actually not, not visualized. Actually, it seems a synchronization problem between the Explorer and the instance. So let's just refresh it. We could also sign in again. Okay, it, it could be that my token. It was outdated or something like this. Uh, so I have the every parcel product record as I expected. Let's run the query. Okay, great. Now you can see the relationship was uh, created. It was a kind of synchronization problem either because the uh, token expires or whatever. So if you have a problem, just refresh your browser or sign out and in again and well basically this is what i show you today so i invite you to to go through the swagger file and try so other functions like um, i don't know so send telemetry or delete instances or patch an instance and so on but uh, you can do it mostly in the same way i presented here so thanks uh, for watching the video and we will see you in the next video. Bye bye.